Hey guys, and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. As always, I'm Demon Friend 93 and we're back as Marcus. After the fall of Jericho, we've returned to Carl's. See Carl. Oh man. Welcome home, Marcus. Aww. Oh. I'm still in the system. That's so sweet. <laughs> Glad to know that Carl's, you know, still good. There's another thing. There's a thing. There's a thing. What's the thing? You have one missed call. <gasps> He's alive. Well, that's good. You should be, you bastard. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Looks like we did good, Marcus, by knocking his ass out. <laughs> Oh no, the birds! The birds, they haven't been turned on! Is there any way through here? Hello? Anything? Anybody? <gasps> There's a thing over there! Nothing new there. Just gonna come and play piano or something? Are we gonna play chess? Are we really gonna observe chess? What? What? Okay. Very interesting. Carl's room is upstairs. Can we go into the studio? We can. Oh boy. <sighs> My painting's still there. That is very nice. There's no blood stains, that's good. You know. This was the what I made in like our first session. Feels like months ago. So many things have happened since then. Things with COVID have changed and stayed the same at the same time. And why can't I go up this spiral staircase? Why is the spiral staircase even here if I can't use it? Bullshit. Anyways, we should probably go see Carl, huh? Life has changed. Oh my. Things have gotten complicated and very quickly. I don't know where things are headed. Both in this game and in my own real life. It's quite scary. And it's not my own things in life that are complicated. So it's weird that it's got me so scared. Hi! How did you get in? Sorry. I need to Existential see crisis stuff. Carl isn't seeing anyone. You need to leave. I need to convert you and then you'll understand. Let me just touch your arm. Convert. I am not the android you're looking for. I need to see him. Go right ahead. I'm not sure he'll be able to talk to you. That's fine. He'll be fine. He'll be able to listen to me. And he'll have some words of well, he, he if he's not able to speak, he won't have words of wisdom. But you know, he'll. Oh, Carl. Carl, Carl, Carl. Marcus, <clears throat> I was hoping you'd come. I missed you so much, Carl. You don't know how much I miss you. What's wrong? Lost. I'm completely lost. The whole world's falling apart around me. Right? I try to do the right thing. Uh huh? I look for answers. I... Instead, I just find more doubts and more uncertainty. I know the feeling, Marcus. <sighs> See, I told you he was going to have fancy words. 
not fancy words, but smart words. It's time for a damn. The world to end? What? What are you talking about here, Marcus or Carl? Advice, decision, or anger? What should I do? Let's get some good advice from oh, Carl. My people. I don't want to answer violence with violence, but tell me, <sighs> what choice do they give? Even I was making choices mm -hmm. between love and hate, between holding out your hand or closing it as a fist. I don't have any easy answers, Marcus. No, no, I ain't looking for easy answers. I'm looking you for just answers. Accept the world as it is, or fight to change it. Now, how can you fight so peacefully without? The violence. I mean, I know how, yeah, but you know. Oh. But I know part of me is in you. <laughs> when the world falls into darkness, some men have the courage to lead it out. You're one of those men. Thank you, Carl. Don't die. Face the abyss. Stay with me, Carl. <laughs> okay. Glad to hear it. That Carl's still... Still gonna be alive. He's a good man. He's a very good man. Oh. Now we are at, uh... The place uh, that we have taken refuge from the refuge that was Jericho. Huh? I'm sure that that situation could have ended poorly, but luckily it did not. If I would have gone with anger, I probably could have like made him have a heart attack and die. And why do I have the controller for the dirty bomb? Put that away, Marcus. We're not using that. We only took it from North so that she would not use it. That was my intention on that. Because North is very much like a loved one that I know whose intentions may be good, but has some very bad decisions and hers is the turmoil that I'm currently going through. So, that's enough about me, though. I'm doing fine, guys. Um, I'm just really worried for her. What do you gotta say, Simon? Anything? Are people accounting with you? <laughs> They uh, have for a very long time. You're the only one who can lead us. That seems to be the consensus, yes. Wherever you need to go, we will follow. We'll follow you. It's good to know. It's good to have companions like you. But do you follow me so blindly? Make your own decisions. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's not the whole thing of the revolution. It's kind of, you know, we need to band together sort of thing, but, you know, I'm just saying. So there's one, two, three more. Kara, Alice, hello, you two. Hi. I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I'm sorry that it did not turn out that way. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting miles away from here is on the better step. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. <sighs> might. It's very big. Marcus. Very big difficult difficulty there. Save our people. I'll do my best. We might be in this for the long haul here, guys. I don't know how much longer is left of this game. 
Talk to your people, talk to Carter, decide Connor's fate. Oh boy. We still got three, three, three more. North. So, uh, how's it going? Situation, survivors, wound. What's your system status? I'm okay. I'm sorry that you got shot. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. I always was. So was Connor. You We're all. To think of our people first. I am. Uh, you are a part of our people. They say they don't want to take any risks with teammates. So they're rounding the people up and taking them to the camps. Concentration camps! Why wouldn't they just shoot them? Why do they need the concentration camps to shoot them? <laughs> or kill them? Just saying. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred? They were already shooting people in the streets when... Kara, Alice, and Luther were driving through the road streets. Yeah, but that doesn't mean to trigger another bomb. We'll have changed the world and the world will have destroyed us. <laughs> you have to make a choice, Marcus. That's a tough choice. Whatever you choose, we will follow you. Yeah, Simon, Simon said that too. Oh, he didn't say the I love you part. Hmm. <laughs> Didn't get the chance to say the last thing. Okay, that's fine. North is my lover. North is my lover. Oh, yes, of course. I'll leave Connor the last. Let him squirm. <gasps> Jerry? Jerry! Jerry, you made it! Good job, Jerry. Wait, hold on. Is that... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Hey, look, there's another Jerry. There's a lot of Jerry's. All the Jerry's made it. All of the Jerry's. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see our people free one day. Yeah? You and I haven't always agreed, but I know. What is with this attitude suddenly? Like, you know. We've seen I I fairly often. Like, you're the one who I've sided with more than the others, Josh. You know? Like, Simon was like, run. Or no. North was like, run. I mean, you, were you the one that said fight? I maybe mean, maybe you are the one that I haven't listened to, really. You know, we'll, we'll just... Okay. Jerry! And Jerry! And I think there's another... No, that's a... That, that, that's a... That's a... That's a Daniel! Hi, Daniel! My name is Connor. Wait, no, I'm not Connor. Android sent by Cyberlife. Oh. Um. You realize the man sitting next to you is dead. Right? Why, why did we drag his body here? Oh. And there's another one on the other side. You just... You just seem to be... A very bad luck. You have a lot of dead bodies around you. I'm gonna go talk to Connor. Hi, Connor. I'm Marcus. Android sent by Carl. It is, but you know, we won't hold that against you. Yeah, they were using you. That's what they do. Yes, you should have. That just means that you're like the rest of us, not perfect. I forgive you. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. I trust you. Trust. Your place is with your people. Hell yeah. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. Interesting. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. Okay. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife tower? It's infiltrate? He could just walk right in. Connor, that's suicide. Not for him. They trust me. Mm. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. Amanda certainly doesn't. Maybe. There's a high probability. <laughs> but statistically speaking, there's always a chance. Statistics. Events to take place. 
I mean, yeah, you're all robots, and you're, 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 there's statistics, but still. Be careful. <laughs> We've got, got a plan now. Okay, inform your people of your choice. I, have I made a choice? What is my choice? I guess I'll just stand up here and speak to my people and the prompts will come up and I will make a quick decision, time-based, that probably will not end well. Humans but here we go. Decided to exterminate us. Yikes. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Yeah. Glad we avoided that. Time has come to make a choice. I mean, for Kara and Alice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. What's our choice? Okay, march peacefully toward the camps to pressure the authorities or launch an assault on the camps to liberate the androids. Demonstration or revolution? Oh, God. Oh, man. Public opinion is supportive. We gotta go with peace. I know. It's gonna be rough. It's gonna you. it's gonna be so rough. But I know you wanna fight back. But I assure you violence is not the answer here. We gotta be like Gandhi. We're going to tell them peacefully that we want justice. North. And if there's any humanity in them, they will listen. Hmm. And if not, we will die. We'll take our place and continue this fight. That is true. As long as there are those with the right beliefs, the fight will continue. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to inspire right now. In real life, is a fight. Will to fight. That's what we need. Night of the Soul. Marcus. All right. Oh boy. There's a Connor's flowchart for this. Carl deteriorated after Leah was hurt and broken, but in other t timeline, Carl would probably be dead because of that heart attack. Uh, public opinion is supportive. Jericho, I'm the leader of North. I'm the lover of Josh and Simon. I am companions too. And for whatever reason, we are not seeing Carl. Or not Carl, Carl. Reconcile with Carl. Confide in Carl. Something else could have happened. Jericho was attacked in Crossroads. Marcus on sacred ground. So I guess they could have not been? What would those have been, I wonder? Spare Connor. Talk to Connor. Peaceful protest. Yeah, share a moment with North. Marcus chose to protest with his people. Oh boy. What was Connor's flowchart? Night of the Soul. There's just nothing. There's literally nothing. So I'm guessing if we hadn't gone deviant, there would have been something. That's interesting. That's all the time we got for today, guys. So see you guys next time.